so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds of lightweight action between these two great warriors. Roberto Duran's approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. He's making his way to the ring with a determined giddy-up in his step. Fighting out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hands of stone. Over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubts to creep into his mind? Yeah, there always are. Because you always want to have the edge. We're human beings. Boxers are no different. They want to say they have a little edge in that area. But they need to know that this is exactly what they're ready to do. Good block by Duran. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Duran able to land the counter punch. That wasn't able to land. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Roberto Duran. Good counter punch by Roberto Duran. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Roberto Duran. Teddy, what do you think is the most misunderstood about the lower weight classes? Well, I think people don't realize how big those people have to be. I know that sounds crazy because they're smaller guys, but they have to be big in all the other dimensions with discipline, with confidence, and with their technical approach, their technical development. They have to deal with guys that are really fast. The bigger guys don't have to deal with all those elements. Good block there by Dynamite. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Back and forth exchange. Targeted counter punch by Dynamite. Here 
Here we go. Round two is underway. Holy cow! A stinging right hand by Roberto Duran. Accurate counter punch by Dynamite. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Nice block by Dynamite. Targeting that head with a combination punching. Way through this round here. Blocks that punch. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran's cut is near his eye. I think it's below his eye, but you can see it opening up a bit here. We'll see how much of an effect it has on this fight. Oh, look at that. They exchange hooks. Roberto Duran's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Roberto Duran. Blocks that punch. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Roberto Duran's in a real tough spot now. There's no doubt about it that the eye has worsened. That cut is really looking ugly right here. What does he have to think about right now? Is it time to just take the realization that, hey, this fight could end at any moment? Yeah, well, there's two things to that. First of all, the cut man's done his job. He's put the coagulants in there. Now he has to give them time to work. He's got to be elusive. He can't get hit on it for a little while. But also, he has to find a way for offense to stem the tide to keep the opponent from just walking right in. And round number three is underway. Nice block by Dynamite. Well, we told you it could be this kind of fight, and as advertised thus far, that's exactly what he wanted to do, backing him up against the ropes. Blocks away that headshot. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Roberto
Arturo Duran's eye is really a mess now due to that cut. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, I assume. You know, and that's the key word, assume. And a lot of people, a lot of fans do assume that, that you start aiming at that bullseye, so to speak. But I don't believe in that, because now all of a sudden you throw yourself off a little bit. You start pitching punches to that exact spot instead of just fighting your fight, instead of just letting the jab go in the general direction of the head, set up the other punches. You don't want to get carried away for looking to pinpoint that exact spot. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Roberto Duran. Duran counters back. Well, we just learned something here, Teddy, in this fight. He landed a beautiful counterpunch, and if that continues tonight, this fight's going to be in his favor. Yeah, this fight might be over, because when you land counterpunches, usually you're landing clean shots, and sooner or later, shots that your opponent doesn't see. And those are the shots that say, good night. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Roberto Duran. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. the fourth round. <laughs> See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. <laughs> Roberto Durant's cranked by an uppercut. Very clean offense from defense by Dynamite. Holy cow! Dynamite stunned and he is hurt. Nice strike after catching one by Roberto Duran. Duran with a block. Good counter punch. What a chin. Can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? And more importantly, can his opponent believe it? You know what? You want to hit a guy. So you figure that that's a good thing. That's an encouraging thing. This is a case where his opponent might get discouraged just by seeing his guy take those kind of shots. Duran able to land the counter punch. seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. Duran with a block. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Able to counter that attack. Unable to score with the hook. Oh. 
And yet another right hand lands. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of the cut. It's nothing. A small cut, nothing. Don't worry about it. Listen, you need to move your head more. Side to side, okay? I want to see that head move. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. It's got the look of a fight that's going to go the distance. But I'll tell you this, Teddy. It'll have lots of action right to the final bell. Yeah, yeah, I have a funny feeling. This is like a throwback fight, and these are the mentalities of these two fighters. If you told them it was a 20-round fight, like the old days, a 30-round fight, they would somehow find a way to go the distance. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no, actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for me. to get away from that headshot with the block. Dynamite's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Good counter punch by Roberto Duran. There's a headshot, but he parries it away. Blocks away that headshot. The Ram counters back. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. We'll take care of this, brother. Get on that. Get on that. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. That punch nowhere close. Every chip. Oh! Roberto Durant stunned, on, and he is hurt. Come on, punch it out. 
That's just like a little love shove right there. Just a little love shove to give yourself some room. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Roberto Duran. Good counter punch by Roberto Duran. Using those feet, using that jab on the outside well. And you know what? He used his head early in the fight because he went inside, which is really where he's set up for, and he got his opponent's respect. And now, that respect is paying off because he's being allowed to stay on the outside and control things. Doing well on the outside. Wow! Roberto Duran stunned and st Oh, and there you go! Roberto Duran's down! from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Duran counters back. And the night is over. That cut causes an end to the evening. A TKO victory. By way of TKO. Dynamite, your winner by TKO, Teddy. Ah, he did a great job. From the beginning to the end, there was never a doubt. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you.